Hey y'all, find a bone here. Now, I'm finna try to get my workout on. Yeah, at the hotel. There's some people in here. Just want to show y'all the facilities. Got a pretty nice gym in here. Pretty nice workout area. <laughs> Very nice. I've been getting my little walk on in here. I'll do it again later. As y'all can see, a lot of the staff come in here and work out every day. A lot of the staff. So. This is the bathrooms. The showers. So once you get your workout on, you can definitely come in here and shower. So that's what I'm gonna do later on, for sure. Locker room area for the men. But I just want to show y'all the gym, and I'll be back with y'all shortly. Might well do a tour again. <coughs> okay, this is the wrong way. That's the window locker room. I don't want to go in there. So. But anyway, I got better details about what happened with the shooting yesterday in Greenville. So they did pick up that guy and they charged him with attempted murder and murder. So my understanding is the one that he killed, he wasn't even trying to shoot him. And the one that he shot, that's the one he was trying to kill. And it always happens like that. Always. Innocent bystanders See that boy gone for nothing. Cause I told y'all yesterday it was probably for something stupid, but the guy that got killed, he wasn't even intended to target. See what I'm saying? Ridiculous. So his family got to bury him for nothing. He didn't even do nothing. He was there. Wrong place, wrong time. That's what I'm saying, y'all. That's that's that what gets me upset. I was upset yesterday, and when I learned the details, it made me more upset today. Because we losing our kids to gun violence, and it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, I, I think I get a little bit too fired up and stuff about that, because life is so precious so precious and these kids dying before they can even live ain't even a man yet teenagers but the grave don't discriminate whether you 99 or 9 gonna kill you dead no matter what your age is and it's ridiculous so I just don't understand at all. I really don't. <coughs> I never understand. Because when I was a teenager, I had a couple of pocket knives, but that's it. I didn't never had no gun. Actually I had a gun, but never did carry it. Never did need it. So it, it's just ridiculous. It, it really is. Ridiculous. But, this is the day and time that we live in. And, I want to ask y'all opinion about something. To, the, these days and time, what y'all think is the number one problem 
with these teenagers, us not reaching our kids? What do y'all think the number one problem? I think it's a combination, lack of parenting, but that's not always the case. Sometimes kids have great parents and they turn out really bad. So you can't always blame the parents. But also, like I said, parents don't be so quick to say your son ain't doing this and your son won't do this and your son is too good to do this. Don't say that. You don't know what they're doing. They're not in your sight. You can easily hide the emotions and feelings from you and, and display it somewhere else. But that's why you have to have an open dialogue with your kids. My daughter is 24 years old and I talk to her two, three times a day. And I live probably about 200 steps from her, from my house. She lives right around the corner. And I have an open dialogue with both my kids, every day, all day. And my grandkids too. I'm gonna have an open dialogue with all of them. Try to influence them the best way I can. My daughter never seen me, and growing up, as she can tell you, she never seen me act crazy with nobody. She never seen me club all the time, going to bars all the time. Cause on the weekend, for a long time, that's the only time I had my dog was on the weekend until she came to live with me. So that's the only time I used to get her until she got in the fourth grade was on the weekend. So that, that and I want to be a great example for my daughter. And I had an open relationship with my daughter. I wanted her to tell me every single thing. And she did. I, I used to tell her when she was six, seven, eight years old, if somebody makes you feel uncomfortable, please tell me. Even if it's me, tell somebody else. Don't keep nothing no secret. That's how I raised my daughter. So that's how you have to raise her. Two days before Christmas. How you doing? Two days before Christmas. It's ridiculous. So somebody Christmas is ruined. Somebody New Year's is ruined. That man family is ruined for the next few years. Cause he was so young and it was unexpected. It ain't like he was sick. It ain't like he had no disease, terminal disease, cancer, or nothing like that. He got shot for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, that's just all into it. And it's sad. Really sad. So, I'm three hours away from home, three hours and a few minutes away from home. And when my daughter friend called me last night, that's what she told me. And it, it, it ridiculous. Really, really ridiculous. So, that lets you know there's no day promised to you, no matter what age. No day is promised. Live your life to the fullest. If you live your life to the fullest, you ain't got time for no negative, stupid stuff like shooting somebody. And ain't no telling what it was about. Probably about some weed or something like that. Some dope, something like that. Something stupid like that. So, it's sad. It really is. So, we, we gotta do better. We have to do better, people. And, like I said, when I was growing up in the 70s, you didn't have nobody getting shot. Especially no teenagers. We ain't had no teenagers getting shot. We, we used to fist fight. And like that man said on Friday, you win some and you lose some, but you live. You live to fight another day. These punks, they just punks, just want to grab guns because they're scared to take an ass with them. And that's the truth. Stop grabbing a gun. If you ain't man enough to fight your battles without a gun, you ain't no man. Anybody can get a gun and point it at somebody and shoot. Anybody. But you think you gangster, you ain't gangster. You're not gangster if you gotta pull out a gun to shoot somebody instead of fighting. 
You're not a man. You're a coward. Straight coward if you got to pull a gun out to shoot somebody. And, and probably the guy was unarmed. So it, it's ridiculous. Really, really ridiculous. <coughs> and I, uh, we got uh, three more days here. And I will be headed back home. That way I can look up the Trump stuff like I want to because here at this hotel, they really don't have the channels and stuff like I do at home to watch stuff like this. So that's why I've been trying to do bits and pieces on my phone and my tablet and stuff like that. But when I get home, I'll definitely sit down and look at everything like I want to. And I can keep up with every little thing like I've been doing. And I will make a video of it. But like I said, I've been away from home for almost a week. So I ain't been able to keep up. I've been keeping up bits and pieces but I ain't been able to keep up like I normally do. So, but I will. I will. And I had a, one of my subscribers, he texted me and said, uh, he commented and said, uh, I was wrong about my, about my comment.